Well, that took longer than expected. I'm so sorry for making you guys wait. What happened was, I was in a rush to get the stream started because I woke up at 1.42. <laughs> Um, so I was trying to make the bite to eat and I put some chicken strips in the oven and then I came downstairs to send out a tweet because I remember that while I was cooking and then I started to make some coffee. Then I came back downstairs to start the stream so um, you guys could do the be right back screen. And in the process, I totally forgot about my chicken strips in the oven and they burnt up. I burnt up my chicken strips. I was so mad. Because I was hungry, right? I'm hungry. I wanted a snack before we started streaming. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I ended up having a salad. I shoved a salad in my face real quick because I didn't have any chicken strips. <laughs> also, welcome Lisa. Welcome Hangry. My life is complete now. Yay, Hangry! I'm so happy to see you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for spamming those adorable unicorns. I really needed that today. Today is not starting off very well at all. Not a good day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me give a shout out for Hangry. I think nobody's in here, but we'll do one anyway because... Because I've seen Hangry doing lots of art streams lately. I see you doing them, but usually... Usually, I can't catch them. I'm doing it anyway. Wait. Oh, and I spelled it wrong. No one wants to watch me. Yes, they do. I've seen you having people. I've seen you having people in your art streams. I was almost one of those people. <laughs> I was almost one of those people, but um, I, I that's during my playtime. Because you stream usually at night when um, I'm doing my gaming with my friends. Okay, I have to blow my nose one second. There we go. You take my support, Hangry. You take it. Oh my goodness, what were you drawing? I have to check your Discord. I haven't been checking your Discord. I haven't been doing a lot of things, if I'm honest. Let's be honest about it. Damn it, fine. <laughs> oh, the reluctance. Let me check Discord. I sent out a request if anybody wanted to join me. Um, and we don't have anybody that wanted to join us. That's cool. I think a, a lot of my viewers don't actually like this game. And that that's okay. I play a lot of games. I did make the request in the Discord that if... Um, there's something you guys want to see me play or whatever, make a suggestion, please, in the suggestion channel, because I'm running out of ideas, so I've just been playing whatever I get in the Humble Bundle, or I've been playing whatever, like, I already have, like, some R6 or, like, Dead by Daylight, um, and those, you know, are combat games or spoopy games that um, a lot of our viewers don't like seeing, so... If you have suggestions for other games, I like indie games. You guys should uh, put some suggestions in there and let me find some cool games to play for you. Um, I was just doing a quick sketch last night. Drew a squirrel. Oh, that's hilarious. My cat is watching a squirrel vid video right now. I was taking a quick break from work last night. 17 hours on call. Wanted to stab someone. Oh no, hangry. Don't be stabbing people. My nose is gonna kill me today, I already know it. It's being all snotty, snotty. Ugh. All right, well, hold on one second again. So I think the, the secret here is don't eat ginger dressing before you start streaming. I love ginger. Ginger is probably my favorite flavor. Um, I love ginger everything. Um, so I make this really cool um, Asian style sesame ginger uh, dressing for my salads. Um, to be honest, I don't know if it's an actual recipe. It's just sort of something that I whip together that I like the taste of. You know, whatever. 
Um, so I do that and um, it has like sesame oil and uh, rice wine vinegar in it and um, lots of ginger and garlic and I love it. I put it on all my salads. The Starzy is one of my favorite flavors of streamers. Oh lord, hangry. Now I think you're being crazy. <laughs> So, yeah, the ginger I apparently gets all my mucus going. Like, it's all in, coming out of my head right now. Yeah, that's a thing. Ginger wakes you up. It's one of those... I think it actually does have a medicinal use of, like, increasing blood flow or something. Like, maybe that might be it. Snotty as Starzy confirmed. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't have to Google what the medicinal uses of ginger is. It does increase blood flow. Ah, I thought that's what it was. Yeah, that might be a thing. <laughs> it helps a lot in the cold and humid areas of China. Ah. I have a ginger addiction. It's, it's pretty bad. I have ginger everything. Right, let me get some coffee in me. I made coffee and I ate my salad. I'm trying to get some coffee in me to wake up because I literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago. So what happened was I stayed up. The older the ginger is, the stronger it is. Yeah, unfortunately, so I used to grow a little bit of ginger in my garden box next to my greenhouse. Um, unfortunately, I tried to um, like store it because I grew way too much of it is what happened. I thought I was growing just a little bit, but apparently ginger as a plant spreads really fast and the roots get like really huge and out of control. So I had tons of ginger, right? <laughs> Waking up past noon. I wish I knew that life. Yeah. I'll explain that in a second. Let me tell you about my ginger story. So I was growing ginger in the garden box and it got out of control. I grew way too much grow ginger in its own bucket yeah it spread like crazy and I had these huge roots and I had way too much ginger and so I was trying to use it as much as I could um, I canned some of it like I made the the uh, ground ginger paste and I canned it um, but then I had all this extra extra roots left over and they were sitting in my um, my storage box downstairs and they started getting very hard like the longer like pickled ginger i pickled some no the other ones i canned like fresh canned ginger um you, it's like a preserve yeah it's like mushy ginger mush that you you save in a can jar it's not pickled it's just fresh ginger that's preserved um so like ginger paste yeah like ginger paste there you go um so I made some of that and the rest of it I was just trying to store and use as much as I could but the longer it stayed in the storage box downstairs the harder it got like it turned into almost like a wood type it was like really hard I couldn't hardly use it um I think I used some of it in my my second batch of soap <laughs> I made like a honey ginger uh soap that was really nice dehydrated ginger um no it, i didn't dehydrate it um basically you grind it up into a pulp you add in some um a little bit of salt and oil and then you vacuum pack it in a in a jar it's literally just fresh ginger paste <laughs> like that was it um i have a vacuum packer for some of my stuff that i make in the cans um, because you don't always want to heat canned stuff. I think you can take the dried ginger root and blitz it in a blender. Then you have ginger powder. Oh, well, I probably could have made some powder. If I thought about dehydrating it, um, it probably would have lasted better than just letting it sit. Because I just had the regular root in the storage box. Um, and I was just trying to use it like fresh ginger as much as I could, but then um, it started getting hard. Like it got really woody and stringy and just turned into like trying to shave off pieces of wood. So um, I learned my lesson as to not keep fresh ginger um, extra long. So if I ever grew it again, I think dehydrating it and making ginger powder would have been probably a better choice, but I didn't know that at the time.
I was waiting to see if anybody wanted to play with us, but it looks like nobody wants to play with us. But we're just going to do this on our own. So what the reason I'm waking up afternoon, angry. <laughs> the reason I'm waking up afternoon is because I stayed up to 5 a.m. again. My sleep pattern has been off for probably two months now. Um, I stayed up to 5 a.m. again, uh, fiddling with artwork for the channel. I did um, my new my new banner at the top up there. I redid that. I know it looks very similar to the old one, but I tweaked the colors just a little bit to make myself happier with it. Live and learn. Yeah, exactly. Like mushrooms. I know never to grow mushrooms again because fuck mushrooms. Um... Rainbow is still rainbow for me. <laughs> you know, I guess. But uh, I tweaked it just a little bit. I changed the colors some. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I have new panels coming because I'm not happy with the panels that I made. Um, so I, I did something last night and I'm really happy with it. I think it might actually, fingers crossed, be the final iteration of stupid panels that I make for this channel. I think I've made like four different panels um but i got the uh the template made last night for the the panels i just have to type everything up on them again it's so hard to do in a planter what hold on i i'd love to grow wasabi but i think you need a steady stream of fresh water it's hard to do in a planter maybe um i have a pond i have like a little a uh, pond out back, but it's, um, it's pump fed. So, I mean, it's well water, but it's like recirculates its own water. It's not, um, it only adds in a little bit of water because it's on like, um, it's like gravity fed sort of. Like there's a hose that, that connects to the, to the well water pump. And then, um, it only tops off the pond when it reaches, um, a certain level. Like if the lever evaporates or, something like that but um what do I grow my pond I grow a lily pad and turtles and frogs <laughs> I don't actually have any fish in my pond um but uh yeah that's a thing the pond was my husband's idea by the way <laughs> it's hard well 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 yeah yeah alpha well hey Jaime thank you for the bits long time no see what? Has it been a long time? I saw you last Friday. I didn't stream Monday and Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, I had no internet because of our winter storm. Monday, I was feeling like crap. Actually, um, to be honest, I've been not feeling well for probably about a month now. But um, I'm glad to see you. Thank you for flashing me those um, 69 biddies. I know how you love to give me those 69 biddies. Those are amazing. Thank you. Are you feeling better, Jaime? Glad you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm tired. I, I stayed up super late again. I think that's the crux of my issue <clears throat> as to why I'm not feeling well. It's just my sleep patterns is taking a toll on my body. I haven't been sleeping properly. I've been staying up all night. I'm going to bed after my husband leaves for work in the morning. He leaves work at 5.30 and most nights I've been awake the whole entire night and he's leaving for work and then I try to go sleep for a couple hours and then I get up about noon and play video games. Running on four or five hours of sleep um, a night for a month is not good. <clears throat> right? Yeah. Just not taking care of myself and I'm reaping the rewards. I'm feeling like shit. <clears throat> oh shoot, that sounds loud. I might need to turn that down a little. <clears throat> I'm tired too need a lady sneeze at me so i've been dealing with fevers a lady sneezed at you oh no Jaime. 
in massive headaches. Besides that, I'm good trying to take care of myself now. Healthy like real berries in them. Oh, nice. <clears throat> How was your trip? You probably came back with Scottish cooties. Like that's what I'm just gonna call it. You went to Scotland and that's where Riley is and you call it Riley cooties. I talked to Riley once and I call it Riley cooties. I was sick for two weeks. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see which killer we have. What's oh, that? Just oh no no! Don't see me. I've been learning some tricks, guys, because I have been playing the heck out of this game. I've kind of gotten over <clears throat> as nervous as it used to make me. Actually, it still does make me a little bit nervous. Certain killers do. Woo! I'm almost missing that does. Um, but it's not as bad. Like, I'm not going to be screaming in your ear unless we get the uh, hex lady a hag. Oh no. So I've been learning some things. Oh, that person's getting murdered. Look at him. Getting murdered. <clears throat> oh, no screaming, scaring it, or no screaming, swearing at least. Um, you might get some screams. Not gonna lie. There might be some screams. The hag is the worst. God damn it. Okay, guys, one second. Oh, how did she know I was there? You fucker. <laughs> Get off me. Get off me. No. No hooking. Stop it. Yeah, she's a fucker red as Sarsie. Oh yeah. There may be lots of fuckery. There's gonna be swearing. You definitely gonna get that, Jaime. But uh the only killer that still makes me scream is um the hag and sometimes Freddy. Freddy's the Freddy's the worst. Thank you for the swear and I need my Starzy fix. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that guy's gonna leave. That's the third time he's been down. Damn it. We don't even have one generator done right now. Rip Captain L Lars. Sorry for your for your loss. Why do I have a map? Oh, that's a good map though. I'm not gonna make it out of this game. I'm gonna be so mad. 
How about you dumbasses get away from over there so she's not just murdering us one by one? That would be great. Okay, thanks. She's a camper. She's going to hang out by that person that she hooked. Or not. She's going to come for me because I heard her singing. Oh, the other person got her down. Okay, that's perfect. And she's down again. Is our first rage quit of the day. Um, it says I have a lagged frame. Is it lagging for you guys on the stream? Yeah, it is lagging a little bit. I probably should have restarted my router before I started streaming. hate you. And I had a good map too. Uh, it doesn't look bad for me. I'm very slightly lagged, but I want to keep the overall experience. Okay, good. Sexes, if I'd waited for her, that lady on the hook to die, Jesus Christ, that's loud. If I'd waited for that lady on the hook to die, I had the map that showed me where the hatch was, so I could have just escaped. So that kind of sucks. We didn't stand a chance it kind of sucks because it feels like um the killers are very overpowered for random groups if you are in a group of four together you take on the killer at least you have the benefit of communication 
and it gives you a little bit more of an even playing field. But uh, just for random guys with no communication, it's almost impossible to get out uh, away from the killer. One second, guys. Let me see what my sister's calling me about. Spamming me. All right, I'm back. Why this one child in our family is so full of fucking drama? Don't understand it. All right, let's see. What are you guys talking about? Hope everything's okay with your fam. Oh lord, that child's never gonna be okay. I'm so way behind on the nommies. Yes. Yes, get all them nommies. Could you guys beat up on the shortbread cookie crumb? Got you. Oh dear, poor child. Yeah, she's got the middle child syndrome. It's my sister's middle child. She's a fucking drama queen. Can't. But anyway, we're good. We're good. Um, I'll have the kids this weekend, so I probably won't be, uh, streaming or playing many video games, so that sounds amazing in the middle of my insomnia bout. 
doesn't it? I hope karma will fix that child. Unfortunately, karma's part of the problem for that child. Karma is actually the name of her first uh, daughter. So my niece, the middle child that I'm talking about, that's the drama queen. She has five children and she's 24. So, um, yeah, her first child, her, she named her first child Karma. And it is actually Karma for her because that kid is a, um, a handful. Yeah, she has five kids at 24. They all got different daddies and all the different daddies got different daddy problems. It's, it's a mess. <laughs> right? Ugh. And she can't keep a job. She's a millennial. Can't keep a job. So she, it's always um, like me, my sister, and my brother that are giving her money to either pay her rent or give her a place to live or fix her car or buy food or send the kids to school. Like the kids go to school off of, um, we have a dummy address that we use. Um, we keep, we, we split the rent on an apartment in a really nice neighborhood is what we do. And then um, all the kids and the family, um, because my nieces live in the inner city and the inner city school sucks. So they all use the address of the apartment to send their kids to school so they can go to school in a better district. Um, so what has happened is uh, my brother <laughs> went over to the apartment and uh, to check the mail because we sometimes send mail there. Like if you, um, I've had viewers that wanted to send me things or gifts and things and I always use that address for the apartment for my viewers to um, send me things. So my brother um, had went over to the apartment to check the mail. And there was a guy there, a random guy in our apartment. And he questioned the dude as to why you're there and what happened. And um, turns out my niece has been using the apartment to hook up with random guys. So he was pretty hot. He's upset. He called my sister who called me. So now we have to change the locks and we're thinking about maybe moving um, the apartment. Like uh, the apartment comes up for our lease renews in March. Um, so we're thinking we're going to change the address of the apartment and not give her a key, which complicates the issue because her five kids are the primarily the kids that use the apartment um, because um, they have keys to it. So if we can't, we normally pick them up and take them to school. We alternate days like my day to pick up the kids and take them to school is Tuesday and Thursday. Um, so we usually take them to school, but if for some reason we can't pick them up, they ride the bus to the apartment and they have keys to get into the apartment so they have a safe place to wait for us to come and get them. Um, but yeah, so this complicates the whole issue. Like she's, she's taking advantage of something that the family has done for her kids to benefit. Drama for sure, exactly, exactly. Hey Lisa, welcome back. We're talking about my dumbass niece. We just found out that she's been abusing the apartment that we have been using to benefit her kids. Um, I, not just her kids. My ne my nephew and my other niece, they also use the apartment for their kids to go to school in the same district. Right? This is a niece that can't keep a job. So um, they, they go to... It's not a private school. It's a what we call a township school. So it's, you know, a higher end public school, basically. They have uniforms they have to wear to go to school. She can't afford to buy her kids uniforms. Like, we have to buy her uniforms for her kids. I bought them this year. Um, my brother covered their lunch fees because um, they have to pay for their lunch. So he covered their lunch fees. I bought their uniforms. And my sister, who's their grandmother, bought their school supplies. And it just kind of, it irritates me that there's this, my niece is getting so much help from so many people that are so generous to her and want her kids to have a good life. But she doesn't want it, like, for themselves. Like, she's more interested in fucking up in every way she can. It infuriates me. Yes, the kids are the ones shafted in this situation because they have a dumbass for a parent. What is the clicking noise in the background? I thought you were typing, but I think it's a fan. Oh no, it's probably the um, it's probably the sound from the screen because I have the Dead by Daylight open. So you're hearing like the crackling of the fire, I think. 
fucking it up by fucking her, basically. There's a random guy in our apartment. She's not even there. Like, why is he there? Where? One, why are you bringing strangers to the empty apartment? And two, why would you leave him alone in the apartment that your children spend time in? Oh, Lord. She needs a reality check. That would hurt the kids, so yeah. Sex for the sake of sex only works for people who have their shit together. Yeah, exactly. Or for people that know how to use proper birth control. Like that too. <laughs> exactly, Astarzy. Oh my god. So that's my daily drama. My, my sister just called me to drop that bomb on me. I was wondering, she never calls back to back like that. So I figured it must be an emergency. All right, I'm getting some coffee in me, guys. I'm just totally chugging this coffee right now. I'm still not quite awake. Family comes first. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, sometimes I feel like I bend over backwards for my family and I don't get a lot of reciprocation, it feels like. Everybody looks at me and my husband and say, oh, they'll be fine. They don't have any kids. They don't have anything going on. There's no problems in our their life. Let's get as much help and lean on them as much as possible. And I'm just going, you know, <laughs> you know what you think sometimes isn't always true. Like we have our own issues. Granted, we don't have a billion kids like my sister and my brother chose to have, you know, three kids each. I, I, we still have problems though, right? I, I, I don't know. I feel resentful sometimes because my family, <laughs> I don't know. It feels like they always associate their burden of raising their children as somebody else's problem. And it doesn't just start with my niece. It started with my sister. You know, when she had her kids, she was a single parent and me and my brother and my other sister spent a lot of time supporting her, getting her kids to and from school, waking them up because she worked a nighttime job. So they would stay at our houses like it's a long family history of just supporting other people's fuck ups. <laughs> and I don't know, like, when does it end? I'm old now. I don't want to do it anymore. <sighs> oh, my God. The apartment thing just happened? Yeah, it just happened. That was the phone call. My, my sister kept calling me back to back while I was trying to stream. I was like, why is she calling me? Uh, I'm spending a chunk of my money to go see my grandmother in Hong Kong while she's still alive. Wow, hangry. I hope you enjoy your trip. And I hope your grandmother is a sweet, wonderful old lady. In April. Okay. I gotta head out soon for an appointment. Oh, bye, Hangry. Right, no problems. That's so unfair. I know, right? Of course, one has problems. Just because they don't have kids doesn't mean they don't have any problems. Yeah, exactly. I love my grandmother. The woman in her prime had the best nickname. Tell me about your grandmother. That's interesting. So she's still in China, right? She's lived in China her whole life. By the way, Twitch is freezing on me. Yeah, I think something's wrong with my internet, actually, Lisa. Because it's it's popping up that I have lagged frames. And when I was playing, the um, the game was a little stuttery. Right. The, the area where she lives in Hong Kong is called Quarry Bay. She used to be known as the Bitch of Quarry Bay. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, oh my god, that's hilarious! <laughs> uh, I love her already, Hangry. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do another game of this, this scary nonsense. 
<laughs> she would be the type of person that would tell my dad, you got it, you got in a fight, did you win? If not, get back out there. Because my aunt would get picked on. Oh, and my dad would defend her. That's good. She's got like such a fighting spirit though. You know, those are the people that live for a long time. Because they don't take no shit. They're like... Like, they, they get their needs met. They take care of their responsibilities. And they don't take any slack for it. Welcome back, Lisa. We're talking about Pandas. Uh, Hangry Pandas. Amazing grandma. Who's apparently a badass. I love it. Yikes. But she kicks butts. Yeah. Sharp as attack at 95, but her body's giving out. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. 95. Don't let anybody tell you you shouldn't be your bitch. Look, bitches get shit done. Oh man, what kind of old person am I gonna be? I already feel like I'm old, but I'm definitely not 95. <laughs> you should add that as a quote. <laughs> uh Gramps used to have gambling issues. He would disappear to go gambling, show up at his games with a cleaver and threaten to take what's left of his friend's manhood. They ever took him gambling again. Oh wow. You know, Hangry Grandma is kind of amazing. <laughs> She's old and I am too. I don't know. Like, what kind of old people are we going to be? Like, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm, I'm mentally, I don't feel like mentally I'm going to get old. I'm going to be as childish and immature as I am today, probably another 20 or 30 years. But uh, physically, I hope my body holds out that long. Makes you think. I hope so. Oh no. No, 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 no. I don't like this one. Also, that's super fucking loud in my ears. Let's uh let's adjust that. Bring you down to 60. A 70 is too loud. Alright, there we go. 50 years of more streaming and having fun. Oh no. Bye, Hangry. No one does, though. All the 70 year olds still think they're 40. Or think like they're 40. Yeah, I hope so, man. Oh, this is bad. She's right there. I don't have a lot of cover. Can consider me subbed for another 50 years or until I die. <laughs> oh lord. I don't know, man. That makes you question a lot of things about the future, right? Like, uh, what's the internet gonna be like in 50 years? What's Twitch gonna be like in 50 What are video games gonna be like in 50 years? Go the fuck away, lady. I got stuff to do. Well, the luck I've had lately, sooner rather than later. Oh no, don't talk like that, Hank or Heine. That's bad. You'll jinx yourself. And upstairs in this house? The 
downstairs. There is not an upstairs in this house. Where the fuck is this generator? Well, don't worry. Watching your stream adds some luck, so it'll even out. Oh, hope so. Nice, somebody found our hex. <laughs> I'm a rebel. Oh. <laughs> lag. <laughs> the fuck was that lag? Oh my god. Oh, this is horrible. I'm teleporting everywhere. She saw me. Oh, geez, that is bad. Yeah, right? Oh, candy thief. Look on those candy thieves. All right, need two more Jennies. I know there's one in the basement of this house here. Sounds like somebody's working on it. Oh wait, it's already done. Maybe it's the next house over? <laughs> Fucking crows, go away. Can't find this next generator. There it is. Everybody's taking trips, like, uh, Honey took his trip to Scotland, and Angry's gonna be taking trips to China. Oh, hey, that was a good skill check. I wonder if we should take a trip. I haven't took a trip in a minute. I don't think I did any kind of travel last year. Normally we go, uh, to visit my family and friends at least once we- Oh god, nope. Fuck you. I'm out. So, Lucy! Hi, my dear. I saw your message. I just haven't got a chance to reply to you because I'm a piece of shit. I'm sorry. I've been um, in a very weird mood lately. Oh, that, that lady didn't make it. I'm so sorry. 
Is this? No, that's not it. Looking for a generator. Where's the generator? I did England twice and Spain once last year. Lucy did all the travel. Look at that travel. Jaime donating the 666. Oh my goodness, Jaime. Some buccaronis because you need something extra for being awesome. Oh, Jaime, thank you, my dear, for the donation. I really appreciate it. That's so sweet of you. Because you've also been feeling like crap, and I've been feeling like crap, and... Like, I just wish there was no more crap. Like, people just need to not feel like crap. Alright, I guess I'm going to save this chick. After I stop and search this chest, because I'm not that um, generous that I just pass up free loot. But yeah, everybody's got travels. Like, I didn't get any good travel last year. I'm kind of jealous, guys. Oh, she's camping. Doors are open, yes! Oh, thank you whoever finished that generator. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, she didn't make it. Somebody got knocked down. Um, you know what? I've rescued three people already. I'm kind of done rescuing people. I'm just gonna save myself. That sounds so bad. And she's so far away. Oh, no. Is that her third time on the hook? Yeah, she got sacrificed. Well... Hi chat, one second, I'll catch up. We're we're pretty intense. Hey, I found the hatch. Doors open. Let's book it. Let's go. Woo! We survived one! Yay! I'm so excited! <laughs> it's our first survival of the day. We've lost two, so first survival feels good. Alright, and I made it out with my med kit. I found a med kit in a chest and that's a really good med kit. Alright. Let's catch up on all the stuff. You guys are chatty when I wasn't looking. Um, England twice and Spain. Yeah, like you, you, you did good trips, Lucy. Also, hi Lucy. I saw your, uh, your message. You want to do the, the fox and girl game. Woo! Um, I'm excited. Just hit me up. Uh, we could do it like next week whenever you want to. Um, I'm good. Just let me know when you want to do it. Uh, thank you for the monies. Long time no see. No worries, girly, at all. You don't ever gotta explain stuff to me. Sometimes I dodge messages when I don't have the headspace to people. I get you. <laughs> That's why I love you, Lucy. We're so much alike. How? I feel like we're twins. We're twins, Lucy. Uh, us who feel like crap need to stick together. <laughs> depression and anxiety are real this time of year. I don't know if it's so much depression. I don't, I'm, I know I'm having sleep issues. I'm just assuming it's a bout of insomnia. Because like I said earlier, I didn't go to bed until 5.30. It's been about a month that I have not been sleeping at all at night. I'm usually going to bed in the morning after my husband leaves for work. He leaves for work about 5.30. And I'll sleep for a little bit and then get up at noon, one o'clock or whatever and play video games. So not, uh, not sleeping well at all. Uh, I did lots of traveling last year too this year. I do bigger ones for fewer but more substantial. Sounds like so much fun. I know, right? Saving lots of cash to make it happen. I mean, you can't be saving cash if you're giving me cash. What is this? <laughs> oh, well done. Which coast are you thinking? West or East Coast? I don't want to visit the US. Oh. I'm not in depression right now since I got a person to talk to. So I'm doing well in that department. Not played much games actually. Very busy with life. Yeah. 
I have a special Astarzy account. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I appreciate all your support, Jaime. The Middle South. Huh. Hopping out to eat lunch. Hugs everyone. Big hug, Astarzy. Talk to you later. Bye, Lisa. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, even though I made you watch the scary game, I know you don't like it. I did ask in the uh, Discord, guys, if you didn't hear me earlier, um, I asked for suggestions of what games to play because I'm running out of options. Normally, I just play whatever I get in the Humble Bundle or games that I already have, which is usually combat games. And I know um, some of my viewers don't like that sort of stuff. So if you want to see me play something else, make suggestions in the suggestion box. Otherwise, I have difficulty finding new games to play for you guys. Enjoy hooky game. Yeah, hooky game. <laughs> Lisa. Midwest can be so much fun. Yeah. It's going to be pizza. So I was late to make my stream because I just woke up right before my stream. And, um... I had put uh, chicken strips in the oven to cook. I was going to make a chicken strip salad, um, but I got distracted doing other things and I burnt up my chicken strips. They were so hard. Oh my God. So I ended up not having chicken strips. I just had a plain old salad. <laughs> that was my breakfast. I mean, no, there's so much to see and do everywhere in the States. Yeah, exactly. The U.S. is a huge country, and it covers a lot of different um, areas. You've got, you know, the western part of the, the country that is, like, coastal and arid and very tropical type. And then you've got a big desert, a bunch of mountains kind of in the middle. And the south, uh, southwest Tex is, like, Texas, Arizona area. There's a lot of canyons and arid areas and desert type stuff there. If you go north to like Colorado and Montana, like you've got the wide open plains and the big mountains and all that sort of stuff. It's a lot like and then like that's not even the Midwest and the river valleys and the southern states and then northern like uh, New Hampshire and Maine area. Like they're all very different biomes and different cultures and different. Um, what do you call it when you've got like a isolated area in its own pocket of well, I guess that's a culture. No, whatever. It's just all very different. <laughs> uh, honestly, some states can feel like separate countries. See, Lucy, Lucy, we're twinning again. I just said that. <laughs> some states can feel like separate countries. There's a huge difference between Vermont and New York even. Exactly. Everything is so different. In legal marijuana in Colorado. Um, I think there's quite a few states that have legal marijuana now. I know it's legal in California. I know it's legal in uh, what's 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 uh, Seattle, Washington. Um, it's legal in Colorado. I think there's some East Coast state that has it legal now. Is it New Hampshire? Is it New Hampshire? Sure. Massachusetts. There you go. Massachusetts is legal. There you go. <laughs> Maine, it's legal. Yeah, there's there's quite a few states that that allow that sort of thing. I knew there was a New England coast over there that had a had a legalization. And as stories said, some states feel so different. Oh no, that fluffy cupcake. I got it. I need a hug. A pack of ice for my ass. <laughs> oh no. Fluffy cupcakes are mean. Alright, let's do another another round of this. Check Discord and see if anybody took me up on my offer to play video games with me. 
Nobody plays video games with me! Sad face. Everybody's making fun of my quittens. Look, I'm just leveling. My quest is to level all the characters to 15 so that I can unlock all the perks, right? So I've got, look at this. I've got almost all of them to level 15. I've got one, two, three, four left. I've got four characters left. Oh wait, shoot, now my Discord's covering my chat. I can't see my chat. Oh no, mistakes. Alright. I'm not really a pot smoker to be honest, but I use edibles before my wisdom tooth surgery because I don't have any duty painkillers and I couldn't eat. Yeah, I'm with you there with the painkillers. I, I don't smoke, obviously, but um, I am very sensitive to narcotics and that uh, guy just get right. I'm very sensitive to necrotics, so they affect me much strongly, much more strongly than they do the average person. So I don't like heavy duty, um, like painkillers and things like that. Why does no one want to play with me? Oh, mine's more Lucy of just having a sensitive system. Um, my mother was a drug addict um, and my father was an alcoholic. So I know I have a predisposition to be addicted to those things. Um, and I know how it affects me, like having anything stronger than, a, like a prescription strength ibuprofen or Tylenol, um, really affects my body. Um, I kind of lose control of myself and I hate that feeling of not having control of myself. Um, so whenever I have surgery, I've had to ask the doctor not to give me narcotics or opioids. Um, so they send you home with like a bunch of like ibuprofen <laughs> usually, because that affects the swelling and stuff like that so yeah it's tough going through a major like surgery like um when i had my gallbladder removed or when i had my um uh, my uh i had a partial hysterectomy uh to fix some like cystic issues and things like that so like coming out of a major surgery like that and they're saying hey you're gonna be in pain <laughs> you know Here's some medicine, and I'm like, nope, I can't have that. Just give me some Tylenol. And he's like, uh, you're gonna need this. And I'm like, you don't understand. I can't have it. I've never personally been addicted myself, but I know I have a family history of addiction, and that scares me because I grew up with that, and I don't want to, you know, subject myself to that. And at the same time, I know how it affects my body whenever I take a um, like a prescription painkiller or something like that. So. I'm just overly cautious. I don't like the way it feels. It makes me sick to my stomach and I react very strongly to it, so I just don't do it. Uh, after going through rehab, yeah, that sounds rough, Lucy. Away from that, Lucy and Asari say, yeah, exactly. There's no point, right? There's no point. I can take the pain. I can take a mild painkiller that'll knock enough edge off of the pain that you can cope. For me, that I there's no point. Sorry, that sounded weird. I have a BA in psychology, so I learned a lot about prescription drugs and their effects on biology. I wasn't personally addicted. Oh yeah, yeah, me neither. 
I've just seen the effects uh, from growing up with um, alcoholic parents and a drug addicted mother. Um, and I don't want that for myself, so. After both my surgeries, I, re I refused all pain medications. God damn it, Lucy, stop, stop copying me. <laughs> I don't need them, I'm a badass. Exactly, right? I just need a little bit to take the, the edge off of the pain, then I can cope with the rest. The game means my addiction and chips and ice cream. I'm with you there, Hangry. I, I actually legitimately have a gaming addiction. <laughs> I, I have a therapist and everything for it, and we had to go talk about it with my husband. Oh, were they waiting for me to click ready? Oh, I guess they were. Whoops. I use ibuprofen. They'd write the script and I wouldn't fill it. Right, yeah, exactly. Kaz Arnie! Pain is a myth. There you go. I don't think pain's actually a myth, but I think it's definitely a mind over matter in most cases. Um, there are, you know, pain to the point that it breaks your body and your will, of course. But up until that point, there is a, a lot, a huge measure of how you cope with pain is your mental, um, like your mental strength and how you deal with it. We essentially are. Usually, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Hey, Kazani. That's what my fella prefers, Jaime. I think it's EU Tylenol. Oh, gotcha. Basically, let's see. I cannot be broken anymore. I'm indomitable. <laughs> I mean, we haven't waterboarded you yet, Kazi. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I could take a waterboard. I'm just saying. I have a pretty high tolerance for pain, but I mean, there's lines for everyone when it, you push it and it breaks you. But up until that point, a lot of it is just your mental acuity and how you can focus yourself to get through the pain. Paracetamol is how he says it. Okay, I got it. Nah, uh, my own lungs did that to me. Oh, betrayed by biology. And just normal over-the-counter pain meds that have very few complications only hurt your liver if you overuse, right? No, fuck livers. We don't need livers. <laughs> How are you today, Kazarni? Can I? Oh wait, and you guys can't do caster commands. And if I tab out, my game's gonna crash. It hasn't already. Actually, I think it already did. All right then, it's been a very difficult day, y'all. It's been a shit day. So I'm thinking I'm gonna open the caster commands back up to our regulars because I keep getting uh, mods that never come to my fucking chat. So that's a thing. There you go. What, you were playing Anthem? Get the fuck out, Kazarni. I hate you so much right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I want Anthem so bad. Oh, it didn't play? I didn't play? What? How do you, how do you have it and you didn't play? Oh my god. I wasn't cool enough to get a... um. I was planning to play it, but it's Bork today. I want to try Anthem 2. I know I've been waiting so long for that game. Ugh. Fucking, how did you get a key? Everybody's got keys but me. Like, I'm so mad about this. I, I know, you know I'm upset about it because my voice, like, raised two levels. But <laughs> everybody got a key but me. Why am I not cool enough? <laughs> You didn't play, but you played, Kev? Huh. They got no key either. What's Anthem? Anthem's a new game by EA. Um, it's very much a, a cooperative uh, PvE PvP game where you kind of, it's a little bit like um, Destiny 2, but with a better loot system and not being fucked by Activision. Fuck that. 
Sunday. I'm playing with Kiki. We got it from a friend of Jacob. Anyone that bought the shit got like 20 free keys. What? And he didn't offer me one? It's Destiny Warframe-ish, but good. Hopefully. Yeah, exactly. Dang it. Someone asked if I was interested in that. It's sci-fi, right? Yeah, it's kind of sci-fi. I want to play the storm. I'm probably going to be the Titan equivalent, whatever that is. A bit fantasy. Yeah, my game is frozen, so I'm just going to force close this. One second, guys, while I uh, fix this. Let's switch that to screen. Yep, yeah, not responding. Oh, man, everybody got keys but me. I'm so mad. Go in my corner and pout. Angry you. Hello, I'm a lurk and shoot some siege, but I'm dying my hair purple tonight. What? Hold on. Hold on. Zarni, we need an expl explanation for the purple hair. What is going on that you're dying your hair purple? Lucy has purple hair and it's so pretty. I'm jealous of people that get to dye their hair uh, rainbow colors. I tried. Lucy has nice hair for Twitch. Oh, never need a reason to dye your hair purple. Oh, thanks, Jaime. Lori has such a sweetheart. So I tried to change my hair color for the first time. I've never dyed my hair, really. Um, I did do a bleach on my hair last summer. So I wanted to dye my hair blue, and I kind of got it in my mind that I was going to attempt to dye my hair blue. Um, so I went to the salon. I spent six hours in a chair to bleach my hair because I have black hair. Um, and it came out like a very light copper color uh after six hours she's like we need another two hours to bleach it again to get it completely white before we add the dye and i said no i was like let's just stop here i've already spent six hours bleaching my hair if you bleach it anymore i'm not gonna have any hair left i was scared basically <laughs> um the hair turned out fine it's still healthy and it grew out really good um there wasn't a problem with the application it was just my own um fear of doing more to it so I winded up just um, having like bright red coppery hair for a little while, <laughs> which was cool. I looked like a redhead. It was kind of cool. My husband liked it. Um, but I, that was the only time I really experimented with my hair color. Blue is so hard. Wait, hold on. Life. Yes, I would have a bad life if I didn't have all y'all. I know, right? Lewis hard. Kiki's going teal at the back of her head. Oh, nice. He's doing all kinds of colors. What? No toner? No toner. What? Lewis cool. That's a bad salon. What salon? But my salon? No, my my salon was good. Like they they did some stuff to it that made it nice and it looked cool and it worked. Um. You don't keep bleaching you add toner to change the value of the color no 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 honey um so what they were doing was they were trying to get it to go as light as they could so that they could then add the color and toner to it because like i said i have black hair like pitch black hair you can't just dye black hair you have to lighten it and then add the color to it um so yeah i i didn't want to go through all the trouble of lightening it I went through six hours of lightening it and then I stopped it and I was like, well, we don't, I don't want to do the extra two hours of lightning to get it to the shade that she wanted to add the blue. My sister's a Paul Mitchell graduate. Paul Mitchell is a brand. Oh, it's like a college for hairstylists. Yeah. That's cool. So you guys have an in-house stylist. That's nifty. Mine got to strawberry blonde, so the purple didn't take as well. 
so we're going professional. Yeah, exactly. You have to lighten it so that it's really light and then add stuff to it. But I have brown hair. They bleached it three hours because they had to fall on my whole head because I'm allergic to bleach. And then they toned it to make it a white blonde instead of a copper blonde. I didn't get to that point, Lisa, or Lucy is what I'm saying. I needed eight hours of bleaching to get to that point. But I never got there. I stopped at six. So I had a half bleached head, basically, <laughs> at least is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, after six hours of bleaching, she said, we need another two hours to get to that level. And I was like, I'm done. Like, let's finish it here. So she toned it up. She added some whatever they add to it to make it awesome. Kazarni, thank you for the resubscribe with the Prime. That's amazing. I appreciate it. Span that adorable unicorn. Look at it. It's so adorable. My hair took six hours. Yeah, exactly, right? So I chickened out basically is what, what it is. I chickened out halfway through the process and I decided, oh, Jaime showing off with his tier three sub. <laughs> uh, Jaime, you're freaking crazy. I can't believe you gave me a tier three sub. But hey, you get all the unicorns. Look at all those unicorns. The Starzy panic. I don't know, maybe one day I'll try it again and I won't check it out, but they could have offered you to come back another day too, rather than trying to do it all at once. Um, yeah, they could have, but I just, I just chickened out Lucy. I think she actually did. She's like, do you want to come back and try again? And I was like, no, I don't, I don't really want to. I'm good. Just fix it the way it is. <laughs> so she, she added some color and did some things and I'm still lagging. So I don't think it's the game, I think it's me, because I'm lagging. I forgot to change my own. Uh, hey, just in time to watch me die. Oh, I tabbed out at the wrong moment. But at least the killer left me alone. He's coming back, boo. Don't do it. Oh, this killer is a badass. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Hope you guys save yourselves. I'm just gonna be over here healing myself. Don't 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 come over here. Um, they could have offered you to come back to a three sub for at least 50 years, baby. Woo! Ow! Whoop, and I cut myself. 50 years, oh my gosh. We're talking about being old, Lucy. We were talking about uh, Hangry's grandma, who's uh, 90. What did he say? Was it 85 or 95? I can't remember. Stop it! I don't want to be your friend! You fucker! I don't like you! Go away! No! Stop it! Ninety-five, he said. Yeah, so we we're talking about being old, Lucy, and we we're talking about what's the internet gonna be like in fifty years when we're all ninety-five, or uh, what's what you gonna be like? Am I still gonna be streaming for video games? Am I gonna be a grandma streamer? Yeah, this is an asshole. I'm just gonna give up on this game and get a different killer, hopefully.
Yeah, he got me with the bleed out. Um, this killer is called Lesion. And what he does is he run, runs around with a knife and he puts a bleed on you. So he stabs you once and it gives you the yellow bar. And it's a, it's a countdown. So if you don't stop and heal yourself before the countdown ticks off, um, you uh, get downed. Which is basically what happened to me because I had to run forever and he was chasing me. So I didn't get a chance to heal myself. I gotta blow my nose again. One second. All right, there we go. I'm back. Nose is desnotified. All right, what are you guys talking about? Oh God, the store goes real. Yeah, I don't even think about the internet in 50 years. Right, we were talking about being old. What's life gonna be like when we're old? Lucy, it's gonna be a mess. I'm sure they can hook up VR headsets to see others play VR. Still be subbed as Starzy somehow. Oh lord. Exactly, 32k death. <laughs> mm. The pixels would be so real, maybe we can pet them. Where's my chapstick? I'm sitting here chewing on my lip and I realize it's super chapped and I'm like, I have chapstick on my desk somewhere. Where's my chapstick? Unless the cat's played with it and knocked it who knows where. Also, I need a refill of my coffee, so I'll get chapstick when I go upstairs. Um, sometimes they already are. No, honey, oh, chapstick's in my jacket. It's a vanilla. I will revenge you. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like the little games and all the fun stuff that I try to have in the chat for the times when there's like a lapse in con conversation or a lapse in me. I got Bert B's peppermints. Yes, that's what I have because um, it's one of the few uh, chapsticks I can use that don't I don't have a reaction to because I have super sensitive skin. I have freakishly sensitive skin, actually. Um, and Bert B's is one of the few that I can use that. I don't have like a, a reaction to. We are the same person. <laughs> right, Lucy? Oh my God. So yeah, that's what I have. I like the peppermint and I like that it's natural and there's no like additives and stuff. So it doesn't have the sunscreen. I think that's what it is because most chapsticks have freaking sunscreen in the chapstick and I react so bad to it. <laughs> Again, twins from different mothers. <laughs> Me and Lucy are about the same age, actually. So, I mean, not that big of a difference in time. I'm so glad you two have found each other. Uh, that's why Stars they can't stream with Cam. We need to keep up the ruse that we're different people, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we're... Oh, fuck, it's the doctor. Oh, I hate the doctor. 
He has a huge AOE electronic shock thing that makes you scream all the time so you can't get anything done. So what he's going to do, I already know it, is this is how every doctor plays, right? Every doctor just walks around from um, from uh, generator to generator and he spams his fucking AoE just hoping to hit whatever's at the generator. So that's what he's doing. He's just walking from generator to generator spamming his AoE. What a fucking ass hat he is. And then he's gonna put people in the basement so whenever we try to go down there, he can stand on top of the basement and spam his AoE. Okay, well. That's why I hear his um, his terror radius right now, because he's just standing on top of the uh, the basement. Doctors usually make me scream. Nice healing skill is one down there. Yeah, that person, that red outline down there, is um, one of our our people. We get four people, and one of our people got injured and hooked in the basement. When that huge scream happened, it made me peep myself. Oh no. Yeah, this game can be a little rough for people that are... Uh, it was rough for me when I started. I fucked that up. I've kind of, I think, gotten desensitized to it. Most um, of the killers don't make me... Um, don't make me scream anymore. I used to scream and have like really bad anxiety when I played it. But the only killer that still makes me scream, scream is the hag. I could hear it across the room. Luckily you were in the bathroom, the best place to pee yourself. There's never a good place to pee yourself, uh, I mean. God damn it. I keep blowing that generator. It's over here. And we didn't do anything. And let's try to go over here. Oh, he saw me. Oh, he didn't see me. He's chasing someone. These leggings wouldn't have made that a clean process. I know, right? Leggings are the worst. You spill anything on leggings and you have to peel those off of you. Fuck! Why can't I get a genie down without blowing it? I'm missing all my skill checks today. Leggings are so tight it would have been just like pea paint, right? Oh, fuck. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate you shocking me, you fucker. Yeah. So, once he shocks you a couple of times, what happens is you start seeing um, hallucinations. Uh, and it starts messing with your fucking ability to do stuff. A hallucination. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm blowing every one of these because of his stupid... Pea paint. <laughs> oh my... Dang it! I'm trying to hit the thing, but it's not working. Blowing what now? Um... So, if you, I'm blowing my skill check for doing these generators. God damn it. Okay, I give up. Eh. It's an effect of the doctor. Once he zaps you a couple of times, um, you'll start seeing flashes and hallucinations while you're trying to uh, repair generators. Yep, that one. Rip person. He's got two down people. You know what? I'm gonna be brave. Try to save my, my fellow people here. trying to ferret you out I think yeah it's just too tempting to blow stop blowing everything Starzy pay attention oh no I forgot to grab the f I looted the chest but I forgot to grab what was in the chest there we go all right let that person get down that over there let's run in the opposite direction I did my good D for the day and I saved one person Now I've got to concentrate on trying to get these jennies done and not screwing things up. Salty old man, thank you for the host! Hey, my host but uh, host alerts are working again. Oh, my host and my raid uh, alerts weren't working. Oh shit! Almost ran face first into him. Alright, we need three more generators. Where is he? Oh shit! Ah! I was just thinking, hey, you've done such a good job of not getting hit by this dude. Why are you chasing me? I don't like it. God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lucy's screaming. <laughs> I'm not even playing. Oh, I know, Lucy. It's so bad. Don't try to get me, dude. I can save myself. Don't try to get me, dude. Save yourself. I can get down. Just lead him away from me. Of course, he can hear me because there's no fucking communication in this game. Alright, here we go. There we go. Out! So my character has a perk ability. If I save another person from the hook, I can save myself from the next time I get hooked. Oh, gosh. And he's chasing me! Stop chasing me, you fucker! No! Why was he chasing me? Get 
off of me. He stopped chasing the other dude to come after me. I don't even like you anymore. Oh, struggle, struggle, struggle. Okay, now I need you to come save me, dude. I don't have another lifeline. Somebody help. That was a good save. I was kind of nervous there. That's why I got quiet. I was just like <laughs> holding my breath. All right, let me try to get away from these guys. Oh, that poor bastard. All right, I gotta... God damn it, I didn't stop. Oh. Okay, chat, what'd you say? Salty came in. Lucy's screaming. Poor Lucy. I'm sorry, Lucy. I think I'm scared the children outside playing. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, no! It's coming! It's coming! <laughs> Alright, snap out of it. We got this. No, we don't got this. Come on, snap, snap, snap. Alright. Oh, everybody's dying. There's only two of us left? Are you kidding me? Alright, heal self. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I really hope she's healed herself. I'm down. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> the doorbell scared me shitless while you were screaming at the time. Oh no. And I'm dead. Damn it! Salty, sorry I didn't get to say uh, hi to you when you came in. I was being scared and running for my life. <laughs> it's okay, I got fussy teens, but they'll get over it. Fussy teens? Oh, do you, is everybody still sick at your house? It's okay, I needed this delivery. I haven't had a phone for two days. Oh, yeah, that's right, you got your new phone. What kind of phone did you get? You should play with my friend alias girl oh uh, she's got a few oh excuse me she's got a few hours in this pixel three alrighty yeah I'm open to play with anybody salty I was complaining earlier because nobody plays games with me nobody plays games with me uh. Star Z playing dead by daylight hold on let me see this clip Hi me, oh no. All right, here we go. There we go. Out. So my character has a perk ability. If I save another person from the hook, I can save myself from the next time I get hooked. Oh my gosh. And he's chasing me. Stop chasing me, you fucker. Oh my god, I hate the sound of my voice. It's <laughs> hilarious. Uh, thanks, Jaime. Thank you for the clip. <laughs> okay, let's see. I use Google Fi for phone carriers, so I use Google devices. 
Ah, gotcha. All right. I'll play games with you, Starzy. Just not this one. <laughs> oh, Lucy. Oh, bless your heart. Yeah, I don't think you could play this game, sweetie. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard, and they chase you, and you get scared. They're screaming. I can't watch my videos back. I loathe my voice. Exactly. I hate my voice. But everybody's like, oh, it's so cool. I like it. And I'm like, um, I think you're a little bit crazy. <laughs> I like the sound of your voice, too. Yeah, Lucy, um, I can't wait to play Fox Girl game with you. Um, I, I asked earlier for people to make suggestions in the suggestion channel for games for me to play because I'm running out of ideas. Um, I like indie games. I just don't like uh, uh, side scrollers or platformers. So if you have any other games that you think I should try out, post them in the suggestion channel and I'll, I'll pick them up and get some games going. Thanks to Jaime's wonderful generosity to the channel, I have quite a bit of uh, a PayPal currency stored up that I can buy some games with. So just let me know if you guys want to see me play something. <laughs> also, my face isn't the best, but it's the only one I've got. Oh, Lucy, stop it. You're, you're beautiful. Both have a good voice, so you're good. Aww. Also, I still have my first PayPal um, payout, guys. I got that uh, earlier this month. It was my very first one. It only took me 10 months, but we made 100 bucks finally, and... Uh, so I saved some of that. I did buy a new stuffed unicorn and um, some ice cream with it. But uh, I have, uh, I think it was 130 was the payout. So I've still got like 100 bucks left plus whatever was in there from Jaime's donations. So I can, I can afford to get some games. You just got to tell me what we're going to get or what you guys want to see me play. Twitch payout, I know, right? That first one, that first one is so good. Makes you feel like you finally accomplished something. There's some recognition for what you've been doing for the last 10 months. And it's like, here, you, you're, people like you. <laughs> that first Switch payout takes forever, it did. I was afraid I might lose my affiliate status because my anniversary for streaming is in February and I made affiliate, I think in May. So I was pretty close. I was a few months off of uh, making my year mark without a payout. So I was kind of glad that I, I got it. And I didn't lose my affiliate. And now we have money for games that we can buy some games and play. Um. Oh, this guy's got lag. Okay. Let's unready that and get out of this lobby because it's going to be a laggy lobby. You guys are too nice. Don't change. Ice cream is life, so one needs to do that. I know, right? It's nice they changed it because when I first became affiliate, you had to get like 200 ducks a month or it wouldn't pay out. Yeah. They changed their payout policies. They did. They did. I think right before I became affiliate, they changed it so that uh, now it's, you just have to have 100 bucks. Normally, I think within a month to get the monthly payout, but um, now it's a cumulative. So whenever you finally get your hundred bucks, that's when they pay you out. Oh, I was, I was going to take a break and get more coffee, guys. I'm out of coffee. That's what I was sitting over here looking at. Oh, fuck. I guess I'll do it after this game. Cumulative is better because they were just taking small streamers money essentially. Yeah, basically It's like you made a little bit, but you didn't meet the threshold. So you didn't get anything Oh 
Yeah, I got my payout at the same time as Starzy. Nice. You'll have to get back in the streaming, Jaime. I haven't seen a Jaime stream in a minute. For a couple of months, actually. Oh, by the way, did I not give Salty a cast a caster command? Let me, let me fix that. I was just thinking. There we go. Slime Rancher. Oh, cool. Oh, it's the doctor again. I'll switch my schedule around and try to get through all my ongoing dead games. The AOE on a doctor is ridiculously crazy. Like it goes through walls, it goes through objects, and it's just impossible because he just can spam it the whole entire map and figure out where everybody's at. <clears throat> Add some custom art to my channel and stuff. The new and improved Jaime experience. Oh, Jaime, what do you think your theme for your channel is gonna be? Do you have a theme? What, what, are, you, what are you doing? How much trouble would we have been in if we did a co-op Stardew stream? I don't think we'd be in trouble at all, Lucy. We're both hoarders, so that's a check. We both um, like to do the farm stuff, so that's a check. I won't be doing the mine stuff, so you can do all the mine stuff. I know how much you love that. That's a check. <laughs> and we all, we get our own little houses, so... I can make a massive farm and plant all the pumpkins. And you can take care of the animals. Addiction wise though, oh, <laughs> um, well, if we get Hangry in there, Hangry's pretty addicted too. I see him playing Stardew all the time. So we have a little co-op farm. It's all you, I hate the mega farming. Oh, see, see, I, I got this, Lucy. Grow all the veggies and you can do all the other stuff. I've never been dude. You never played Stardew? Oh, hey, look at this text right here. Watch your horses. I'm gonna come get you. Just let me get rid of this text real quick. If you do the do, you never go back? Yeah. Oh my god, that would be dope. Hangry can do the mines. I can do the animals. You can do the mega farms. I know, right? We got a plan. It's gonna be the best bop ever. You gotta make it. You can heal yourself. Oh, she's gotta make it too. Oh uh, well, I guess she wants me to do it. Nope, oh, sorry boo, I'm out.
Well, don't lead him to me, you fucker. Run the opposite direction. And she's down again. Damn it, we still got a whole nother generator to do. You sassy woman, look at you hiding. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I was trying to be helpful to this lady, but she led him to me. She has a med kit. She can heal herself. I don't know why she didn't. <laughs> now, how about you run this time? Oh my god. The other idiot's down. Hey, at least- well, no, we still need another generator before the hatch opens. Am I going to spend this entire game just getting people off hooks? Uh, here. See you, chat. One second. <laughs> uh, Starzy's a sassy. I'm bold. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> or he's just an idiot. Look, he didn't even see me. I do need coffee, though. My voice is getting scratchy. Nope, nope, you don't see me. You don't see me. What the fuck? Alright, well. Scratch all the things of Starzy, then unhip the cook peeps. <laughs> Oh no, where is he? Oh no! Ah! Right now I'm hallucinating. You had a choice between getting yourself off and having a Starzy help you get off. Oh no! <laughs> putting that in our Nami redemption. <laughs> you can't redeem Namis for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's usually better with help. Oh no. Why is everybody not struggling? That was only his second time on the hook. Alright, well, now I have to go look for the, um... For the hatch. Alright. Let's find a hatch. We gotta listen for it. It sounds like, um... Like air moving through a vent. You'll hear it. It's really loud. What? Why is he here? No! <laughs> Stop it! Uh. 
I'm not gonna be able to hear it with him chasing me. Fuck. I don't like this asshole. He's a try hard. I choose the stars, he just saying, aww, thank you, Jaime, but no. <laughs> Seems to have a handle on such things. I'm tempted to make that a quote on my stream. <laughs> uh, wait, did you, did you guys make the quote for bitches get things done? This is better with help. What if help is bad though? Yeah, so I've had that experience. Toxic. Oh my god. All right, let me get some coffee, guys. I will be right back. Here is a beautiful picture of unicorns to keep you entertained. <laughs> uh, there's a definite wrong way to do anything. Oh no. Ad quote, bitches get things done. Hi, <laughs> Starzy. Uh, bunny! Hi, Bunny! I'm drinking coffee. I want coffee. I had coffee, but now my coffee is empty, so I need a refill. Oh my goodness. Hi, Bunny. Can I get a... Oh, fuck. I can't even ask. Yeah, I'm going to have to change that and make it so that regulars and VIPs can do the caster commands for me. Um, because I keep getting mods that don't actually show up for my streams. Um, Bunny is an amazing caster. Yeah, see, Jaime, you keep trying. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bunny is an amazing uh, PUBG player and I love her face. She, she's pretty awesome whenever she lets me play with her, which has been a very long time, Bunny. We haven't had to had a game where we play together. I thought Jaime was a mod. No, Jaime's a VIP, like you and Lucy. Not amazing, totally amazing. I think you're amazing. I, as I aspire to be like you, but we could play for sure. I know, we haven't played in such a long time. You used to come in Discord, I think, and play with me and uh, Seth. Or, wait, no, not Seth. Who's the guy you brought into Discord and we used to play games with? I don't remember. Okay, let me get my coffee. I will be right back.
All right. There you go. I'm back. I have fresh coffee. Not a mod. I never got that medal. I have a VIP badge. I'm very humble by it. Oh, hi me. Um, if you want to be a mod, message me, DM me, because I'm looking for some dependable mods that can help me do the things. Unfortunately, there are... Yeah, there's restrictions there because for the caster commands, there's certain people that I don't want shouted out and um, things like that of that sort. So if you're interested in doing that, let me know. Also, if there's a suggestion for games you want to see me play, um, put that into in the suggestion channel in the Discord. And I will grab some games to play for you guys. Leb! Leb! Yes! Leb. Caleb. Uh, the guy that we were playing with. We played with Ella? Ella? Oh, Wicked! Okay, yeah, we played with Wicked. Yeah, that's been a very long time ago. I haven't played games with Wicked in probably three months. Um, we don't play combat games together anymore, me and, me and Wicked. Uh, hands Lucy a lurking blanket and a flashlight. Aw, oh, lurk well, Lucy. Do you guys like the new lurk command? I put that on there. I hope you guys like it. Uh, Bunny with a gunny. Ella, Wicked, Kickin' PUBG. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But I would be happy to play with you anytime, Bunny. Okay, I'll let you know it's Thursday. Yeah, his name isn't Caleb, but now I'm gonna call him that. <laughs> I assumed because you call him Leb, so I thought his assumed his name was Caleb. Oh, I play with another Caleb. See, that's what I'm thinking. More into Twitch now again, so. Jaime's lurking. Wait, Jaime's not lurking. Jaime's just testing the lurk command. You guys keep me on my toes doing all the things all the chatting i appreciate you guys it's a very sad day to sit here and talk to yourself while you're trying to stream i'm glad that you guys hang out and keep me entertained and that i entertain you or, or attempt to anyway oh i should have let him have the battery all right what's this All right, I'll have enough uh, blood points for this. Uh, unlurk. I don't have an unlurk. I just have a lurk. We here, bunny. You're here. I appreciate it. Hey, long time no see. Are we nothing? No, bunny. You're everything. You're my everything. I appreciate my viewers so much. I was in lurk for ages. Was dark in there. <laughs> Don't be so goth now. It's usually quiet in my stream. Oh, I come in sometimes and I try to talk to you. You're usually focusing on clicking heads though. Being a badass in there and saving those boys that you play with. Because the boys all die and Bunny's like the last one alive and she's just like murdering people. I love it. You're my hero, Bunny. I know you're one of my VIPs. I know, right? So fancy. So fancy. I haven't played PUBG in a minute. I hear there's an update. Uh, how do you feel about the update? Any highlights? Any low points you want to tell me about with the update for uh, PUBG? <laughs> you and Killer Gully, <laughs> my biggest fans. Did you play since the new map? Yes, I did play the new map. Um, I. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. I I play with um some esports guys. My 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 favorite uh pro uh semi pro PUBG player is Nubacabra and Polar um Nubacabra and Loganberry of the Polar Ace esports team. So I play with them quite a bit. Uh, I hang out in their Discord whenever they want to play with scrubs like me. Like usually they're in scrims and doing their pro stuff, but I like to hang out in there some some shenanigans in with them when they let me do hot drops so i did play um probably about two two or three weeks ago make shadow lurk puppets <laughs> oh lucy that's scary don't do that <laughs> only game i know i have that asarzi has is seven days to die 
Well, we have Jaime. We have Overwatch. We could play Overwatch sometime. Oh no, I'm lagging again. Hopefully that doesn't show up too bad on the stream. I had to feed side burpees and furry friends. Oh. I did get that shooty game Rainbow in Overwatch. I've been playing the heck out of Rainbow Six. Um, usually when I'm not streaming, I'm playing Rainbow Six. It's replaced PUBG for me for my shooting game. Um, which is why I haven't been playing uh, PUBG as much. I've just been really hard into Rainbow Six. I play a lot with the girl streamers. Um, so if you hop over to Kinky's chat or if you're in uh, Ashley's chat, um, then uh, I'm usually playing on those channels with them doing the PUBG. Or not the PUBG, but the uh, Rainbow Six. That scared me. That literally scared the piss out of me. Like at least a squirt or two. Oh, we're not gonna get anything done with Hex up. We gotta find this other Hex. Which means this is probably the Hag. And I apologize in advance, you guys are gonna hear me scream if it's the Hag. Oh no. Oh shit, it is the Hag! No! That's the worst one for me! Oh no. Okay. Be a brave girl. Be a brave girl. We got this. Saw where she was. So we're just gonna go this way. Fuck's sake. And she she made the um the mist, this fog. So you get like little offerings that can make it stronger or um lighter. And she made it stronger so we can't see her hexes in the ground. Squirrels and chipmunks. Actual furry animals. Yes! Feed the furry animals. I haven't shenanigans with them in a long time. Bunny! Oh yeah, that's right, Bunny. You know newbie and logging berry. Daggone it. Wait, you can feed animals in this? No, no, no. Lucy's talking about IRL. IRL, she went to go feed her, uh, her wildlife. That's why she was lurking. Oh, thank god. I hope somebody... Nope, they, they got a different hex. Oh, fuck aronies. I'm sorry, person. Run away. I was like, wow, I didn't know you could feed animals. <laughs> I'm making these crows my friend. I'm just leaving little breadcrumbs for her. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I told you to run, bish. Why you didn't run? Ah! Fuck. God damn it. See, this is why I hate that hex. I hate the hag. She's the worst. Oh my god. Okay, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Alright, well, I, I gotta save her. Bust my headset. Get off this daggone hook. Yeah, run, dummy. Why can't I heal myself? Oh, I've got the. Oh, I got the debuff. I can't heal myself. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that hurt. I'm sorry. I did not mean to scream in your ears like that, guys. I just really hate this killer. Where did she take our person? Oh. <sighs> okay, breathe. You're safe. Safe and secure. 
You know, witchy things are jumping out of the ground to scare the crap out of you. Jeez, my ears and my underwear. I'm not wearing a headset, so it was fine. Uh oh, not saying she scared the shit out of me. But <laughs> I'm sorry, Jaime. I hate when they pop up in front of you like that. That's the worst thing ever. <laughs> to punch it in the face. <laughs> oh my god. No. I don't want to be hooked again. How did she find me? I was hidden. I was just waiting for one of my friends to come res me. No, baby, I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> no, it's the game. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try to keep it down. Alright, we've recovered. Oh no, my husband came down to check on me. <laughs> Let it flow like an untamed river. <laughs> no, my husband came down. He, he heard me scream and he was like, what's going on? Let it wave proudly in the breeze. Oh no. I can't go save you. I can't. I can't handle another one of those jump scares. I'm just gonna work on this generator and I'm gonna let one of those other brave souls do it. Hopefully one of them is going to get her. Oh god. I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? Oh wait, somebody got it! Okay, thank god. I was scared. I didn't want to go back over there. Wait, what was he waiting for? Oh. This one's already done. We need two more. We need two more generators. They're probably inside the building. That's gonna be scary as fuck to go do.
Well, that fucked. Are you kidding me? What was that recovery time? Uh. Well, I'm Ripperonis. Damn it. I'm glad that's over with. <laughs> Ever makes compilations? So there's gonna be a Starzy Scare compilation? Oh my god. Oh no. I'd pay for such a compilation? Yeah. I think um, Jaime already clipped uh, me being uh, freaked out and screaming by being torn apart by a pack of dogs in seven days to die. Holy shit, I got a lot of bullet points off of that. But mostly I'd like a laugh compilation. Oh. You guys gotta make clips for me. Make clips for me so I can put those all together. <clears throat> Because I don't have video editing skills yet. I'm still working on audio. Um, I just finished last night. I did some new artwork for the panels down below. So I can get them tweaked just the way I want them. And I think I'm almost done. I, I, I think they're perfect this time. Like I've got them right where I want them. So I can finally be done with the panel art. And then um, I'm trying to... Uh, I think the next step, I think I told you guys, I'm working on getting a mixer and an actual studio mic so that I can stop using my headset mic because it sounds like shit. Um, so the next step, I'm going to try to learn audio stuff. Um, I already learned the art stuff, teaching myself to draw so I could draw adorable unicorns for you. Uh, but next, I want to learn audio stuff and how to put all that together and make the... The, the the stream sound really nice since I do rely only on my voice I don't have a webcam I want you guys to have a good listening experience so I'm going to be learning audio stuff well your clips are there so you can make a thing from them I'm sure oh yeah I like clips you guys make clips I need more clips it doesn't sound terrible uh, I think it sounds horrible because I do go back sometimes and watch my, my videos to make sure there wasn't um like uh, any faux pas or I, I did something stupid that I need to learn not to do next time. Because I had a few of those in the year that we've been streaming. I've had a few times where I kind of cringe and like, why did I say that? Or why did I not do this? And stuff like that. So I do go back and try to learn from my streams. But uh, yeah, I think the audio sucks. <laughs> I really think the audio sucks. I learned uh, somebody had to... Uh, walk me through the steps to make a noise gate so you guys wouldn't constantly hear that buzzing in the background when I'm talking uh, so that helps a little bit but I still think the quality of my headset mic is not good I need a mixer too to fix my audio I need editing skills yeah it's a process like streaming is not easy that's a lot of steps in everything you got to know the audio you got to know the editing you got to have like the skills to either do your art or the money to buy your art and then you got to learn how to do like the uh working the dashboard for whatever streaming software you're using the software aspect learning all the different software um, it's a lot so that's the reason why I picked up streaming as my hobby was to try to learn all these different things and you know keep my mind active and things but uh and we got a disconnect that's great it's and you, people think that you can just turn on like a stream and just go for it but uh there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you have to know how to do and I'm learning all of that and that's that's great Uh, sounds pretty nice, but a good mic. Getting your mixer settings right will make a huge difference. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I think, I mean. I went to the Blue Yeti plug and play mic rather than trying to learn audio mixing. Yeah, you, I mean, you can go make it easier on yourself. You can go an easier route and learn how to do, you know, uh, workarounds and things like that. But I, I want to learn it. Like that, that's the whole reason I, I started streaming. I want to learn how to do all the, the different steps of it. So I'm going to get a proper studio condenser mic and a mixer. I've already, uh, I know which mixer I want. Um, I'm waiting for my tax returns, fingers crossed, that our, our government figures out it's shit and I can actually get a tax return this year. 
Um, I'm waiting for my portion of the tax return so that I can buy a mixer and a sound or a mic and a mixer. Um, and then I'm going to start working on how to implement those things. Uh, can I do that with background noise? Where do you plug your Yeti? Because I got a lot of that. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. So with my headset mic, it was just staying open the entire time. So you would hear anything that was going on. You was hearing me breathing. You was hearing the hum from the fans in the machine. It was just a, a lot of background. <gasps> no! That sound, that music, oh no. Oh, well, that just scared whatever I thought I was having in my head out. Uh, what was we talking about? Right, we're doing the single file. Single file, guys. Nice line. Keep it tight. Everybody look out. Looking. Watching our backs. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> I can't! Oh my god, I can't! This is fucking hilarious. Snow crawl, guys. <laughs> oh, we had a deviator. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right? Hilarious. Oh, he's left out. Poor guy. Oh, he saw us. He saw all of us. <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about, guys. Oh, we were talking about audio stuff. Hold on. Let me let me scroll back up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we were talking about noise gates. That's what we were talking about. So I had to ask a friend to help me set up a noise gate so that my mic wouldn't stay open the entire time. So what a noise gate gate does is it sets an activation threshold and a close threshold so if you if the sound is below a certain decimal then it doesn't open your mic and if your sound is over a certain decimal then it opens your mic so that people can hear you speak so you just got to kind of find the right um the right like a uh, what do you call it the right area between when you're speaking and when you're not speaking. Um, and then that defines when the mic will be open. So uh, it's kind of like voice activation, but it's set through um, the mixer for whatever streaming software you're using. I'm using um, slobs and sometimes I have to revert to original OBS. Um, so I had to set noise gates in both of them. So you can do it in your software or you can do it if you have a mixer and a professional mic, you can do it uh, usually with whatever uh, mixer software you have. I'll catch up on chat one second. <clears throat> Actually, this looks like a good spot. I'm gonna squat here for a second and read that because I'm a horrible player. Uh, because I got a lot of that. Yeah, the noise gate sad sadly lowers your voice volume. I don't think so. Oh, don't get me started as Starzy. I have so much to learn and do, right? It's, it's a lot of stuff to learn. I do my original art too. Same here, same here. I did, uh, I learned how to do my art first. Um, I had a few art programs and a free program that I've been using to edit, uh, I unicorn pictures because I bought stock unicorn pictures to start the stream but then I slowly started making my own artwork after I got my doodle pad so it's been a process lots of stuff to learn how to do as soon as I get my thumb out of the butt as well as things get easier in my private life right 
I love this. I would do this in PUBG. He's going to keep watch. He's doing a bad. Oh, he's not doing a good job. Yeah, that was uh, our guy. He has um, he has a buff where anybody near him like completes um, um, objectives faster. So healing and you're near him, he um, he does a uh, increases your healing speed if you're working in a generator and you're near him he increases your your repair speed stuff like that whoops see that's what i get for reading chat it's a process with noise gate it's not easy to find yeah the right the right area <clears throat> I used a lot of trial and error. Like, I wasn't very professional about it. I was like, well, this sort of works. Let's try that. Oh, he's coming, boo. Are we gonna make it? Oh, got it. Alright, well, and out the window I go. Right over here to where this one's sitting in the middle of the road. We'll do this one. I'll be rechatting. Oh no. He saw me! Ah! What? I'm stunned? I can't get through the window? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> ah. You're a fucker. I don't like you. Oh no, I'm stuck! M mistakes were made! Oh my god! Let me go! Let me go! I don't want to be your friend! Fuck. Alright, uh, it's process, a good mixer. Works fingers with a nice mic. I have a studio USB mic, so a digital mixer will be my thing. Right. I need to get a good art program. I use Krita. Krita is a free art or illustration program. So if you're gonna draw up. Oh, whoops, my person's here. Let me get back, uh, back to playing the game. So if you're gonna be doing drawing instead of graphic art, um, it would be um, ideal for that. All right, let me heal myself. Uh, sorry, Star Z, we made you read. We're so bad. No, I like it. Make me read more. <laughs> let her go, you big fucker, <laughs> Krita. Yeah, look that up. It's a, it's a really good. It's a free art program. It's what I use for drawing my unicorns. I use a different graphic, uh, a graphic art designer program that I, uh, called Zara for like the uh, photo editing and the um, the vectors. Star and heart too. Those unicorns are pretty. Yeah. I need to have, um, I have a emote artist that drew my emotes for me. Um, I did the panels and stuff like that and my overlay art. So I need to have my artist draw me uh, some new emotes. I have an idea for six new emotes plus, um, God bless it. Why does he always find me? Stop it. Did he really not see me? He did not see me. I juked him that hard. Yeah, you can't catch me. We're gonna play Ring Around the Rosie, dude. 
You're just gonna miss me every time. Like, why are you still doing this? Ah! <laughs> Deep in hard. Oh man. There we go. They got the gates open. He chased me long enough for them to get the gates open, so that works. Alright, let's run. Let's run this way. Hopefully they have the gates open by the time I get there. <laughs> that fucker let go of a Starzy. <laughs> I mean, it works, right? It, I, I was a big enough distraction that the rest of the team could finish the, uh, the generators. I'm totally gonna die here, though. Yeah. I thought they were at this door, they're at the other one. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> I was so close, guys. We almost made it out. He got me. He got me. Sad face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dang it. Yeah, I know, right? Holy shit, we got a lot of points off that one. No, we, we did good. We had the jukes. We had the jukes. Scared everybody. We're all good. Alright then, guys. I think that is our last game for today. I've scared, I've like screamed so much my voice kind of hurts a little bit. <clears throat> so we're going to end it here. Points galore. We got a lot of points. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I had a blast today even though I got scared and all that stuff. At least I got some clips in. Yes. Love the clips. Thank you for the clips. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the resub. Um, thanks for the host. Uh, you guys are amazing. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Uh, I had lots of fun. Glad to get back. Lots to laugh at. I know. I miss you, Jaime. I'm glad you're back. Uh, let's see. Who are we raiding? Let's do a raid. Oh, hold on. I gotta run my credits and everything. Oh my gosh. So bad. Professional streamer over here. Alright, credits are rolling. Let me look real quick to see who is online. We can go raid their, their party. Uh, oh, well, speaking of, speaking of, let's see, it looks like, uh, we could raid, oh, we haven't raided Loveless in a while. What's Loveless playing? He's playing Resident Evil 2. I like that. All right, let's go raid Loveless. All right, if you have unicorns, make sure you spam them in the chat, please, so that he knows it's a unicorn raid. Backslash raid. Lo oh, spelled that wrong. Oh, wait, it's Luckless. Luckless of Lux. All right. <clears throat> All right, stick around for the raid, guys. So luckless, some love. 
spam those unicorns let him know that it's a unicorn raid and i love all your faces thank you so much for tuning in i will see you guys on monday if i don't do well i already know i won't do an art stream this weekend because i'm gonna have my drama filled uh nieces kids all weekend so um i will see you guys on monday okay and uh make sure you make suggestions in the suggestion channel so that we can <laughs> oh, i love this freaking emotes um so make sure you make a suggestion in the suggestion channel of what game we should play next week uh if we're not playing with lucy all right um keep it unicorn guys and i'll see you on monday take care <laughs>